Welcome to another episode and in today's episode we're gonna do a shoulder and arms workout. We're gonna go heavy as usual, as hard as usual, follow along. Alright, so we start by seated shoulder press. I usually go for four sets and I go from higher repetitions to lower repetition while increasing the weight every single set. Make sure guys, when you increase the weight, the form has to be right. So you're not shooting your way up, you're not just trying to get from A to B. Make sure you control the weight. So if I'm doing a set of 12 or 10, the last repetition is the last thing that I can push with the correct form. You can notice here I'm explosive on the way up and controlling the weight on the way down. My last set, I always increase the weight and try to aim usually for six to seven or eight if I can squeeze it. Pay attention to the form. Always controlled on the negatives. That's when you build in the muscles. All right, our next exercise is lateral raises and I do it different than uh, what other people would do so we go the starting point would be the mid way so I'm not going all the way back not to lose the tension on the muscles and up to be almost parallel to the ground as you can see very slow and controlled on the way down and this is lightweight and it will kill your shoulders you will definitely feel it Shoulders back and down all the time. You start midway, parallel to the floor, slow on the way back. Pay attention to the form. I'm not cheating my way up. I'm using all my shoulder potential to get the weight up. Now it's here guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the muscles to the extreme failure. So once I'm not able to lift the dumbbells anymore, I cheat my way up and control it on the way down. Moving on here guys to one of my best and favorite exercises is the landmine press. This exercise is a compound exercise that uses uh, the shoulders, the chest and your triceps and also focuses on your core and stabilization muscles. It's a really great exercise if you can incorporate it in your workouts. Now it's here my form, I'm really explosive on the way up. Explode on the way up, control the weight on the way down. As usual, I'm going heavier each set, trying to challenge myself. You know, if you if you keep using the same way every single time you hit the gym, uh, your body will just adapt to it and you're not gonna progress any further than that. So always make sure to challenge yourself, but focus on the right form. Yeah, I'm a bit struggling here as you can see. I'm gonna give it a go for the 30, but I don't guarantee that I'm gonna do it. <laughs> when you lift that heavy weight from the ground, make sure you squat properly. 
deadlifts and consider it as a kind of a landmine deadlift in the beginning of it. My aim here was five to six reps. Keep your abs tight, activate your glutes and explode as powerful as you can on the way up. Keep that nice correct form. Moving on to the biceps curls. So basically any kind of curling exercise, hammer curls, concentration curls, cable curls, Olympic bar curls will be beneficial to the biceps growth. Here I'm choosing the easy bar. It, I, I prefer it kind of, you can alternate the grip. You can go inside, outside, depending on which muscle you want to target. Same thing here, I go always four sets, increasing the weight every single set and the last will always be a drop set. Always taking my muscle to the failure in the last set. Slow and controlled as you can notice on the way down and as fast and explosive as I can on the way up. That was my drop set. I'm really struggling here. And I usually work at the opposite muscles back to back, like the biceps and triceps, for optimal growth. My pick today is the skull crushers. It's an accessory movement that increases triceps strength and hypertrophy. Also, it can help increase injury resistance for the elbow joint and improve overall elbow extension. You can notice here that my elbows are a little bit to the back. You can see a lot of variation on the internet of the skull crushers that people tend to bring it to their forehead. But for me, it's not really safe. If you're gonna put a lot of weight on the bar and then it slips from your hand and then fall on your head, that's not gonna be a pleasant experience. Um, rather I put more tensional muscles by putting them back, leaning back, stretching those triceps muscles and then start the move. This will be my last set and I always, as I told you, finish it with a drop set in here. I'm not gonna change the weight, but I'm gonna choose a body weight exercise. I'm not exactly sure what is it called. I call it the floor press, kind of like tricep floor press. If this is too hard to start with or is too challenging for you, you can just drop the weight and keep doing the same exercise on the bench. Moving back to the biceps, incline dumbbell curls. And here I'm gonna use a mechanical drop set. For this one here, I'm starting with the incline bench, biceps curls, and working my way all the way until failure or near it, and then changing the angle and keep going with no breaks in between. Once I'm done with the second one, I also take it to failure with another version of the easy size, which is a drag curl. And my last superset will be 
combination between uh, dips and a biceps hold. If you notice here, I'm trying to be upright all the time, hitting the triceps more. If you lean a little bit more, if you lean forward, that's gonna put more stress on the chest. But here we're targeting the triceps, sorry, stay upright. Moving straight to biceps holds. One of the best ways that helped me develop strength and size in my biceps is this exercise. I really recommend doing it, even if you can't hold yourself for that long, just try, keep trying, and you will eventually build up the strength that will allow you to be able to hold yourself for that long. Let's say we're going heavier today. We're going heavier today. This is also my last set. I always try to push myself harder. So I increased the weight. Body weight was not that challenging, so I decided to grab the plate. And I take it to failure with only body weight. I usually work out for 45 to one hour, but I make sure I kill myself during this time. Guys, if you're not, Putting enough effort in your exercise, don't expect to get great results. There is no shortcuts, there is no way out of it. You just have to put all your effort in there. That'll be it guys for today. Exhausted. Hopefully you enjoyed the workout. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Put your comment down below if you're gonna do the same workout in the gym next time and tell me how it goes. And for now, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, make sure you press the notification bell to get all the new videos. And for now, I'm gonna grab myself a shake. I'm hungry, and to the next time, see ya.